Hello everybody, I'm Mehmet and today I'm gonna share how to deploy, how to publish a fake API to Heroku uh, with JSON server. And JSON server is a helpful tool for creating full fake REST APIs. So it's playing a key role uh, when front-end developers need, uh, need a quick API for prototyping and mocking. And also, uh, sometimes we as we as we developers uh, need fake public APIs uh, for our public demos. So I have decided to create this video, and I have uh, already created a simple project for deploying. So we are not uh, going to code from scratch. But I will share the code uh, on a GitHub repo, so, uh, and I will share the link in the description section. That's enough talk. Let's jump in. Okay. At first, let's look at our uh, project folder structure. This is a simple Node.js server project structure. So we have mandatory uh, objects in it, like package JSON. This is our project definition, name, version, description, scripts, and dependency section. We are just using JSON server, so our topic is related to JSON server. And we we have server JS file which has a configuration about uh, about the server. And this server is fully configured by JSON server. Uh, this is a boilerplate thing, so I, I will not explain line by line. So uh, also you can find in the uh, repository file. But I will uh, I want to mention about dbjs file. Uh, dbjs file is a combination of four separated JSON files, like items, tags, brands, and item types. And this file is under the data folder in the project. And when we look at the items.js file, we will see a list of products. Uh, and there are some properties, name, price, description, etc. for each item. These are set of random uh, products. So and 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 also there are uh, brands, item types, text, JSON files. And these files are also related to items JS, JSON file. Uh, like, um, for example, there are three speech origin uh, list of string. These are related to text property for items JSON. Uh, I have created separate files because these will become separate a API endpoints. I am using these uh, separate API endpoints for the lookup uh, lookup requests. Okay, uh, that's it. This is the simple structure of our project. Let's uh, continue for the Heroku site. On the Hiroki site, I assume that you have already a Hiroki account, so and I'm going to create a new application and I will give a name fake products API which is available and I'm choosing the region Europe because it is closest to me and I'm creating the app by create a button this is our dashboard and I want to um, I want uh, Heroku check out my code from my github repo so I have to connect Heroku to my github repo but at first we need to create a repo In the GitHub site, I'm giving the same name, but I also want to, to add JSON server keyword. Okay, this will be public. 
there's a git ignore file in my project already and just creating a repository mm, I haven't created a, a local repo yet so I will copy this site and pasting I'm syncing the changes. Okay, our public repo is ready. I'm switching the Heroku site and clicking the connect to GitHub. I authorize Heroku, re entering my password. Repo name Fake Products You can now change your main deploy master to main the mesh. Okay. I'm choosing the main branch. Maybe we can enable our automatic deploys okay now we can deploy the branch okay our build process has finished and we see the green status and now we can view our application by visiting the URL and it says congrats you are successfully running JSON server and we can see our items text brands and item types which I previously show you separate JSON files these has been has become separate endpoints just like this it's cool, yeah. JSON server uh, brings us uh, some uh, ready functions just like this. This is the uh, get method and I can filter items by name just like uh, writing the query parameter. And this is filtering the uh, uh, product products which has name and crafted trees it's very cool and uh, there are also uh, ready functions in json server so you can uh, go json server github repo and look for the functions and there are get post pull patch delete methods and uh, you can filter your data just like this and you can paginate data using these parameters page limits and you can sort slice and there are lots of functions you can see okay guys this is the end of our video our public fake API is ready for our public demos and thank you for watching me see you